Katie, I cannot begin to express to you how much I love you and how long I have waited for this day to come. You are everything and more that I could want in a wife and partner through this journey of life. When I first met you, I knew there was something special about you. Little did I know, five years later, you'd become my wife. How lucky are we to have found love and a best friend in the same place. You were always here to lift me up and cheer me on. You are the most compassionate person I know. I cannot wait to spend forever with you. Life is short, but you make it so sweet. I couldn't imagine riding out the highs and the lows with anyone else. I'll see you soon. I love you big, big. Love always, Corey Hodge. <laughs> Dear Corey Ray, first I want you to know that I love you big, big. When I first met you eight years ago, I always knew there was something special about you. But what I didn't know is that God would make you my best friend and bring us this close together. Now here we are five years later on our big day that we have both been dreaming about forever. You are the guy that I have always prayed for, the guy that God would send my way to love me for exactly who I am forever. I am so blessed to become part of such a loving and caring family and that you will forever be part of my crazy family. I cannot wait to start this life with you as my husband and build our own family someday. I promise to love you every day for the rest of my life, even when times get rough. This will absolutely be the best day of my life. I cannot wait to see you at the altar and become Mrs. Hodge. I love you so much, Corey Ray. P.S. I got you a little gift but you don't get it until you see me later. I promise you will love it. Love, you're soon to be Mrs. Katie Brooke Hotch. You look amazing. Thank you. Oh, you look so I love you. Jesus. Are you chewing? Are you chewing gum? Yes, I do. <laughs> Tonight, Corey and Katie will cease being just high school sweethearts. The affection and concern they had for each other up to this moment will increase dramatically. They no longer will be two separate individuals, each enamored by the other. Instead, they will establish between themselves a lifelong partnership of love by becoming husband and wife in the sacrament of matrimony. Do 
you take Katie to be your wife, do you promise to be faithful to her in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love her and to honor her all the days of your life? I do. Katie, do you take Corey to be your husband? Do you promise to be faithful to him in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love him and to honor him all the days of your life? I do. Katie, receive this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Corey, receive this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. May the Lord in His kindness strengthen the consent you have declared before the church and graciously bring to fulfillment His blessing within you. What God joins together, let no one put asunder. Allow me to introduce for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Corey Hodge. Did you see Kiss them? Yes. I didn't think you needed invitation. <laughs> well, it's, it's not like the movies. like sunrise you said a scene turn in my gray skies blue just like you always do I don't want to Don't want anyone 